Good morning, Deer Park Roofing. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, today we're going to discuss the JHA and the JSA. I know that you've heard these terms bounce back and forth, but I want to explain to you the reason for a JHA and how critical the information becomes. So when we do a JHA on a commercial job, what we're doing is we're matching the workflow with the tools and the equipment being used on the project and assessing the hazards involved with the processes. Now when I do a JHA on the commercial projects, this is the number of people that are involved in the process. And everybody, if you could, just go ahead and introduce yourself. This is Victor. He's our subcontractor, so he's going to be doing all the work, so it's vital that we get him this information to protect him and his workers. Jeff Waters, superintendent. Alf Lane, sheep Bell, superintendent. Greg Neff, superintendent. Mike Harper, director of commercial. And Good job, guys. So this, when we originally came out here to do a JHA, I met with Duke Energy. And if you'll take a look at the top line here, Duke Energy originally said that there was no power going to this drop. So I said, okay, so why is this lit up? Why, why, why is this telling me that there's electric to it? They came back out to the job and they said, yes, actually this is the hottest leg coming from the pole to the building. If you will look closely up around the weatherhead where the wires are going into the building, you will see that there was metal flashing there. Our guys had to get within 10 feet to do this work. The other part of this that nobody is aware of, when Duke Energy comes out to cover a line, when they come out and they have you sign off on the paperwork, they are applying these wraps and these guards or tacos um, they're outdated equipment. This is the equipment they don't use for their linemen. So that means it hasn't been inspected. The probability of it protecting you from an arc is very little. Um, so when you're talking about high voltage, you really, really have to do your homework, update the JSA. My job is to communicate with our commercial managers. Uh, they trickle down to the superintendent, and finally we get to um, the subcontractor that's doing the work. So, our sheet metal superintendent has to have his crews work in close proximity to this line. The safest way that we can prevent any type of electrocution is to have Duke Energy come out and physically remove the line. We're gonna disconnect both legs up here so they can do their gutter work, they can do their metal flashing, and we do not have to worry about any potential of electrocution. Right now, there's pure power going to the building and it's only protected by their covers. And their covers, like I said before, they have pinholes in them, they are, they are not, they're outdated equipment that they do, they do not use. So, when it comes to the JHA, make sure that you're doing a, a thorough hazard assessment. It could save somebody's life. Thank you.